So say hello to my friends in Irlanda. Irlanda. Yeah, Irlanda. Ah, oh, that's more like it. I'm from Batman. Ah, oh, Batman. Batman. Are you Kurdish? Uh, Kurdish. 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 Oh, take it. Take a bit of food. Don't eat it. It's for the fish. Give it me. For the oh, not a little bit. In the center of the city of Urfa, or today called San Urfa, you find this beautiful park. And in this beautiful park, you'll find the Pool of Abraham, which is where I'm walking to right now. A very important place for Muslims. Um, I mean, Abraham is a main man in the three religions, yeah, but the three main religions, Islam, Christianity, and Judaism. But uh, especially for Muslims, this place is very important. Because as the story goes, this is where uh, the brutal King Nimrod threw Abraham into the fire. And this is the area right here. You see the mosque right there and the minaret. So the pool of Abraham in Turkish Balikli Gol today filled with carp thousands of carp fish and I'll tell you the story now in a minute why it's full of fish look at them yeah how are you all right how's it going good mate yeah just do that what's just your a name? COVID shake Paul oh. yeah why what's up oh pasta what the apostle Paul that's me yeah reincarnated to get a photo Take you up. All right. <laughs> you can okay. smile from my camera as well. Are you guys? Are you guys from here? Uh, Aile. Uh, are you Turkish? Fa fa family. Turkish. 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 Yeah, Turkish. yeah. Where in you? Turkey? Irlanda. 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 Yeah, yes. yeah. Is the camera okay? Okay. okay. All right. Yes. Where in Turkey? Turkey. Yeah. Turkey. Yeah. Uh, I'm from Batman. Ah, Batman. Batman. Are you Kurdish? Uh, Kurdish. 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 Ah, okay. Yeah. 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 Right, yeah. so in um, in Turkey, the, this area, and well, close to here especially, Batman, is Kurdish people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool, man. Okay. Yeah. See you. All right, lads. See you. Cheers, boys. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. He came over and I was like, oh, this fella's going to try and sell me something. Uh, but they're actually very nice. There's some real, like, political issues here in Turkey when it comes to Kurds and Turkey. But that's a whole other topic that I don't know enough about, so won't be talking about that now. Back to the back to the pool of Abraham. So, as the story goes, the brutal king Nimrod threw Abraham into the flames right here in this area. But Allah turned the flames. Everyone's looking at me. Allah turned the flames into uh, into water and turn the burning logs into fish. So here today, if these carp have just been breeding and breeding, multiplying, and you can see all the little babies there. And I have a feeling they'll still be here in a thousand years. Look at the size of them. They're nice, they're like little sharks, the carp, yeah? They say if you see a white carp, heaven's gates will open for you. So let's hope I don't see a white carp, because I'm not ready for that, yeah? It's tradition here to feed the fish, so I'm gonna find someone now selling uh, fish food or a loaf of bread or something. I don't know. There's a fella, he probably has fish food. Ah, oh, there we go, yeah. How much is this, mate? How much? One. Is it one? Just this? Yeah. One. So, one lira, 10 cents. There we go. Okay, well, I find a nice spot to, f to feed them. Do you know what? Yeah, because for the video, it's good to walk around, isn't it? I know these videos are just me talking too much. Hi, lads. Hello, hi. <laughs> you as well, hello. <laughs> Nice friendly people here. In the east of Turkey, very different to the west. Very different to the places I've traveled to before. I spent a lot of time on the, um, the, 
the turquoise coast they call it, or the Mediterranean coast, the Turkish Riviera, it has a lot of names. Fethiye and Antalya. Now you come over here, the east, close to the Syrian border. How are you, young fella? Yeah, do you want some of that? Come on, take it, take a bit of food. Don't eat it, it's for the fish. A bit. For the oh, not a little bit. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Alright. He tried to take it all. Give him an inch. So we're very close to the Syrian border here. Um, it's a lot hotter. It's a lot more Arabic, you could say. You see, uh, it seems a lot more religious. Look at that, I mean, look at that's Arabic, isn't it? Look at all the, the, uh, the infrastructure or the architecture. Those fish, beautiful. And the pond, it's a beautiful color, beautiful green, emerald green. Naturally, the fish are seen as being sacred. So don't be messing with them or anything. Don't come with a big net, like taking the piss, big net over your shoulder, yeah, like a fisherman. Nah. I don't think they'll see the funny side. Right, let's see. Here we go. Feed the babies. Go on. They're taking their time. I hope that wasn't bored food that he gave me. They're not going near it. Oh, I think he gave me board food. The size of that fella. They're not hungry now. Oh, Todd. This is, is this fish field? Evan. Yeah? Ah, uh, later, later. Ah, I think he's saying wait. Ah, oh, there we go. No, just a little nibble. Boy, right, so they're not eating my food. What's that all about? That has to be bad luck. Right, I'm going to go where the fish are hungrier. Yeah. They're not hungry here, young fella. Yeah. Ah, they're eating it here. Here we go. There we go. Come on, get an old jump here, come on. So a sacred place, people come from all over Turkey. All over the Muslim world, I suppose. To visit this place. Do you want some food to throw? You want that? There you go. You, you can have it. <laughs> you don't eat mine. <laughs> Where are we going? There we go. Oh, you got to jump there. Ah, see the lead horn. Ah, that's more like it. Feeding the sacred carp in the pond of Abraham or the pool of Abraham. In Islam, they call him Ibrahim. I go over and see the mosque now. Oh, wow. Entering the mosque now. Um, when you're going around Turkey, sometimes it's hard to find a toilet, but the best place to go is a mosque. The mosques always have nice clean toilets and anyone's allowed to use them. You can come from outside, you don't have to be praying or anything. So, just a bit of advice there for you. Yeah, the lad's inside praying there. I suppose a nice place if you're going to go to, to Mass and pray, why not? Beside the Pool of Abraham. All these beautiful fish, look at that. Oh, it's much better up here. Much better. Here's the call for prayer. You can hear from that minaret. You'll hear from this one here now in a second as well, I bet you. Over there. Yeah, I can hear him as well. It re I've said this probably in a few videos. It really reminds me of Sam Smith when you hear the call for prayer. It's the same, um, uh, the same kind of 
through the nose singing. But no disrespect to the call for prayer. You can't expect them all to be Ed Sheeran like. I'm just gonna walk through and see. I don't know what this is. Looks like an old an old cell. You know when you visit an old prison? Well, windows and all, it's actually a bit nice for that. I believe the mosque was built in 1211. So you're going back a few years. There's a swimming pool in my hotel, so I think I know where I'm going after this. Hey lads! Alright. Uh, <laughs> look at all. Yeah, really? Yes, yes. Oh, very good. You speak English? Turkey, yeah, Turkey. Yeah, Turkey, yeah, okay. Yeah, I speak English. Yeah. Enjoy Turkey, eh? Very nice place. Nice fellas. Yeah. <laughs> Wave to Ireland. Irlanda. I'm from Irlanda. Irlanda, yeah. So say hello to my friends in Irlanda. Irlanda. Yeah, Irlanda. <laughs> nice lads. All right. Thanks lads. Enjoy. Alright. You, hey. you look at all the faces, they all look so different. It's an interesting thing in Turkey. There's no real specific look. Like some of them look very European, some of them look very Middle Eastern. Yeah, I think I'll uh, leave it at that. Nice place. Definitely a must visit on your trip to Urfa or Sanli Urfa. They named it Sanli Urfa a few years ago, it just means glorious Urfa. So yeah, definitely worth coming. So a good one, I was just walking by the kids again. Ah, boy again, guys. I was just walking by the kids again. And on my way out, they just like, oh, that give me money, money, money. I was like, what? So I took out my wallet. I said, I'd give them a few coins. As soon as I took my wallet out, look, they're still following me. As soon as I took the wallet out, they started putting their hand up to their wallet. I was like, ah, here. So I gave them a few coins and that, you know, so. Yeah, nice friendly lads when they want a few quid. I, I think that because they were on video, they're thinking I had to give them money. I, I think that's what it was. I hope those Kurdish lads aren't waiting for me outside. Here, where's our money? We're on your video. They probably assume, like, when you've got the video, that you're a big YouTuber or something making money. I think anyone that follows my videos knows I don't make any money. Like, I'm small. I'm just videoing me experiences. I'm not a bit of a travel vlogger. I'm trying to do travel vlogs, but I'm not. Um, I'm ne it's never going to be a job, you know, it's, I'm making videos of my holidays basically and giving some information I suppose at the same time. I'm videoing my holiday and giving some info, that's what I'm doing. But ultimately I'm just having the crack, 